Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're having KFC. Make sure y'all can hear me. We have some corn. Damn. I have some mashed potatoes. What's next? Some gravy. Damn. I got a, a, a spork. And then I have a breast. A thigh. And a wing. I was going to get another wing, but um, I guess my kids have decided they like them. Now, excuse me, because I've been out running errands today. It is hot out there. And so, just excuse the way I look. I would say, I wouldn't do this, and, but my bedroom's just too hot and thing. No. <clears throat> it's cooler in here. salt and pepper because they never put any kind of seasoning on here. Yeah, I was watching my local news. Y'all know how I love Long John Silvers. I'll tell you, our local Long John Silvers. <coughs> They built it back in the 70s. I remember when they built it. And um, it was nice and modern. And um, they hadn't updated it since then. And it's just terrible. It's got <clears throat> black mold outside. <clears throat> Last time I went to the drive through the seedlings, you know, they got those little pieces that fit together, that metal. And um, most of them are missing. A bunch of them, like, they were burned. They had lights just hanging down with the wires just hanging down. Um, a bunch of them, like, burned. The floor was just grease. And um, they can still cook some good chicken. <laughs> with all that going on. They sure can cook some good chicken. I'm like the hungry fat chick. You got to hold on while I get settled. Mm. And I got my Mike's, Mike's hot honey. Lemonade, water. Um, this gravy, I used to say, oh, I could just eat it by the gallon. Just drinking it. I'll tell you what. There ain't no flavor in this stuff anymore. You got to put salt and pepper. my little wingy. Can y'all see? Oh, that's my spoon here. So. so, how's everyone been doing? That's what you call eat my girl. Mmm. Mm. 
Oh lord. I'm gonna... Turn it all over me. I see, today is Wednesday. I don't know when this is coming out. I got a couple in front of this one. I was telling Candy, today she posts on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I don't think she posted today. She had some long poem, 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 poem. That's a funny sounding word, isn't it? Poem. <clears throat> I know. Don't think I've ever said poem. Poem. Before poem. I don't know. It's, it's a funny sounding word. Well. I had just been on. Facebook. Now Hilda something came up. I've been wondering for several years. Who is this lady? I guess Candy never gets on Facebook. She never looks or something. I don't know. I thought oh maybe it's her real name. Um, maybe it's her but she's made up a name. So I asked her. <clears throat> That was her. And she said no. So, if y'all follow that person on Facebook, don't follow. Go over to YouTube. Some lady said, oh, I thought she had died. I said, oh, no, she ain't died. I said, she's still living as much as I am. And, um, probably because people say a lot of negative things about her. I can't deal with that. Cartilage or whatever. I know some people eat it. I can't. It's going to make me vomit. So. I told them to go over there to YouTube and she's over here on YouTube. I'm probably too helpful to people. That's who I am. I do like to help people. I'm just gonna eat all this. I'll take it out. Last time I ate this, I thought I was having a wing, but it was this thigh, and it was absolutely delicious. Let's see, I finally got to town, and... mailed that box to the Mills family. I've been trying to mail that thing for two or three weeks.
I don't know why UPS needs to know what's in my box. So it ain't none of their business. Mm, that is some good sugar. I think I'm getting hooked on this expensive water. Anyone like this? Um, you're looking through, let's say, Amazon, for example. You're looking at something, it's like, oh, that's cheap. It's like, it's really nice. It should be cheap. Then it's, it's so expensive. Like I was looking at this little, um, camera it was a hello kitty camera i was like oh this is like thirty dollars thirty two dollars it was six hundred something dollars <laughs> my mother's always said i've got expensive taste i believe it i can't pick out anything cheap it's always expensive most expensive thing they have That's delicious. Let me think. Something came up today or last night. And I said, oh. That'd be a very good discussion with you start writing stuff down. I really do. My corn ain't too fresh today. It's like they've been having it for a couple days. Anybody been watching Big Brother? I'll tell you what, I really don't care for it this season. I've been watching it. I'll see. I think Angela and Tucker. One of these, one of them, I think they're going to. Take it all the way to the end. I had a good chicken. I'm going to tell you. You really don't need the honey or not. It's just delicious.
don't know what that is. I was going to tell a story about something. Mm. I think this might be not. Well, back in the 70s, Calvert, Texas <clears throat> was having this big problem with UFOs. Lots of UFOs in the sky. And, um, I think if you look it up, Jack and Gracia Unger, G R A C I A, Gracia Unger, U N G E R, Comfort, Texas, UFOs. Uh, I think it's on the internet. I thought not too long ago. I wonder how we got on that. It was yesterday on Facebook. <clears throat> My mother used to take me since she wrote for newspapers and stuff. She dragged me around. I was probably six or seven years old. She dragged me around different meetings and stuff and they were having a city meeting where they had called this um, man. I don't know what he was from. He dealt with looking for UFOs. My mother said she thought he was an alien because he looked like a alien from another world. And um, I just remember they, they stayed for several days and stuff. And um, they were telling people to stay off the roads and stuff so they can see the UFOs. I was even thinking about. My mother used to always take me riding around. That was something doing Calvert. It was just a little tiny little town. Highway six just goes right straight through it, and <clears throat> you had the blacks and some Mexicans on the west side of town and the whites and some Mexicans lived on the east side of town and um I don't think nobody ever thought nothing about it or just how it was Some like crystal. Oh man, I'm getting so full. I'm gonna try some of my lemonade. <clears throat> Oof. Let's see. Have you ever seen an alien before? Not from another country. Hmm. I hate these little Christmas things on the end of those. Someone's gonna say she's fussing again. I'm not fussing. I'm just saying I don't like those little grissy things at the end. I need to pull them off. Mm, it's still warm. <clears throat> well, I was going to stay home today.
Yesterday, my son wanted to get his driver's license renewed because his birthday is next week. So he goes and spends a few hours at the GPS office. And um, he gets up there and they tell him that he needs a passport or his birth certificate. <clears throat> now, we've never needed any of that to renew um, your driver's license. And they said they're doing that because um, people over here illegally, they won't be able to get driver's license. Plus, I think they're probably fixing to do this for the election. I bet you it's going to be really... Mm -hmm. the hell It's probably going to be very guarded and you have to show your driver's license. You might have to bring your electric bill or something. I'll tell you, when I got my driver's license, we just went in there, signed up, came back the next week, do my written um, test and your driving test, and, you know, then you get your driver's license. I don't think you had to show no birth certificate or anything. Um, it took... Heat advisory. I don't have to keep telling me that. God damn, it's hot already. <sighs> it took, I think, almost three years to get my youngest son's driver's license. I think time he got up there, he was like 19, maybe fixing to be 20 years old. And they started laughing because he's so old. It's like, it's y'all's fault. You know, because it takes six months, eight months, maybe a year later before you can come back and retest or take a driving test. And then if you forget something, like um, your bill or bank statement or whatever, and you gotta wait another six months, eight months, a year. So, I thought it was very rude of them. Sitting in the bathroom, just laughing. It wasn't DPS off, uh, officers. It was these ladies working in the office. They thought it was so funny. I think they were just doing that on purpose. I think every time they were just started making up stuff. <clears throat> Another people coming up there doing the same thing too, laughing at them. I think the last time I was up there, I finally kind of put my foot down about it because it was the most ridiculous thing. It was, oh, they were picking, picking, picking about everything. And they wouldn't let you, like, if you're up there 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, say, hey, let me run home because don't close like 6 o'clock or something. Oh, let me run home and go grab whatever I need. Oh no, you got you got to schedule an appointment another six months, eight months, a year later. <clears throat> I 
think that noise comes from my son's room. A strange voice. Must got TV or something. Hmm. I don't think I can finish these. I'm so full. Hmm. Last time I did this, I mixed this corn up with my dogs. Dog food. They don't like it. Thank goodness they didn't have much dog food. I'll throw this about. This stuff is so old. So many videos I need to do. I can. I got all these lame brat clothes to do. I'm trying to make a video. I went in the closet a while ago and I was like, I got clothes from last year. <laughs> I was going to do a video on. I was like, I might as well pull those out and do a video too. Well, some of that stuff they still have on my clearance. I don't buy much from Lane Brown unless it's on clearance. If you see something you like, give it a couple months. And it'll be on clearance. This bread, this breast, it's really kind of dry. Oh, it's really dry. Ooh, man. I'm really starting to like that Fiji water. Oh god, that feels good. It's so hot. Whew. Let me think. Do we have anything else to talk about? <coughs> I've got so many lights in my eyes. Oh, this is 29. See, you can't tell my ring light and my other lights. When I'm in my studio, when I go in my bedroom, I just got that one little ring light. Boy, I just you can see it in my glasses. Hmm. All right, last bite. <clears throat> I'm just gonna stick this in my bolt, my thing here, cause. So young. I don't eat this food after I finish. I throw it in trash. <clears throat> Some of y'all probably think, oh, she goes back and eats that food later. Mm -mm. Now, chicken, if we have some leftover, I save it for my boys. I only eat what I eat here. <clears throat> I'm a 
good mother. My kids may be grown, but I will go without food before I let them go hungry. Now, I don't think they would do the same thing for me, but I'm a mama. So, all right, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, click that bell notification. Make sure it's all black, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.